I don't understand how hard it is to be a baby. You know, you, you don't have any responsibilities. You can poop anywhere. I mean, technically, I can poop anywhere too, but the dentist always gets mad. What's up, guys? Welcome to a breathtakingly unpredictable episode of Three Random Games. We're gonna start things off with a game called Perfect Vermin, where I think you're supposed to hunt furniture using a sledgehammer. I'm not entirely sure, but if you're confused, then that makes two of us. Okay... Seems like I've shown up to some kind of office building? Where I'm gonna have some tough questions to answer come Monday morning? <laughs> Listen, it's not that big a deal, okay? My religion dictates that I don't believe in doors. They, they can't discriminate against me. Everything is gonna be fine. Now, where is that furniture that I'm supposed to be hunting? I say hunt, but like, in all reality, do you hunt fish in a barrel? Knock, knock. Anyone here? Why do we have two refrigerators? That's kind of weird. Okay, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions quite yet. Like, I, I know, this seems strange, but there's always the possibility that a, a co-worker came in for their shift and needed to refrigerate their elephant placenta. <laughs> I can't even imagine what kind of smell that would leave in the microwave. Ooh, There we go. So what about you? Are you just a refrigerator? Interesting. Oh, it's actually the middle of the night. Yeah, it's 10 after 9. So I'm guessing no one has actually shown up to microwave their baby broth yet. So am I just supposed to look for furniture that seems out of place? You, know, you wouldn't expect two refrigerators for a cafeteria with two seats. So let's take a look around and see if anything else raises any red flags. Did I not smash you? 90% sure I smashed you, weird. <laughs> so the chairs are moving around. You seem a little out of place. Okay, it screamed in pain. That's concerning. Why am I standing on its corpse? There's three more things in here. Make that two more things. I just don't know if I should be afraid or not. If I sit on one of them, are they gonna be into it? Is it their kink or are they gonna try to eat my butthole? That could also be their kink. <laughs> not entirely sure, hello? Oh, I don't like chairs anymore weird in here. How uh, about we try over this way? The boss's office? Anything strange in here? Oh, wait, you're kind of out of- Mmm, there we go. Okay, chair brains. Delicious. Listen, I have no sweet clue what the hell is going on right now, but I'm not gonna stand here like some kind of mob boss and interrogate a couple of couches. One of you better fess up, otherwise I'm gonna pick the wrong one. Crap. Okay, that's coming- those are both coming out of my paycheck. Who would have guessed that they would have actually sprung for two couches? Uh... Hi! Return to the elevator so you can try this again. Did I not do a good job the first time? I mean, look at the smushed chair. Oh. Return to the elevator. Stop wasting time. Okay, uh... Were you not gonna introduce yourself? Interesting. There's one door I can't get through. Okay, I'm, I'm going back to the elevator. What is this guy? <laughs> Seems to be really struggling to breathe. Um, I get it, I get it. Okay, the elevator, the elevator. I'm good, I'm, I'm good, we're in. You happy now? Do you need me to exterminate more? Oh, you actually do want me to exterminate more furniture. Okay. Do it again, but better. Better? How could I do it any better? Oh, things have changed. Right? There are a bunch of... No smoking signs. Oh, okay. Uh, I've only got a little bit of time. Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. Okay, perfect. They hide poorly. Yeah, you're telling me. Keep going. I'm working on it. I'm getting refrigerator juices in my eyes. 
Oh, crap. No, they do move around. They are changing a little bit. All right. Yeah, there we go. And uh, skiboosh. Just one left. Yeah, I know. And it was over this way. Maybe. Possibly. Knock, knock. I feel like a mix of Tim the Tool Man and that guy from The Shining. Where was the last one? I can't remember. Was it in the bathroom? No, we haven't been in the bathroom yet. Uh, hello? <laughs> Privacy concerns. Gotta get these doors down. There's nothing weird in here. Come on. There's gotta be so Right, right. Chair brains. Got it. <laughs> this building has more chambers that need cleansing. Return to the elevator. Okay. Chambers that need cleansing. What the hell does that mean? I still have no idea what's going on. This game is so weird. I really like it. Okay. Are, are we good? Am I going to be able to do my thing? Or Nope, you're back again. No nonsense this time. Do your job. What is my job exactly? Am I not being timed? Because that'd be great. He doesn't look too good. It's kind of like bleeding from his nose and around the ears a little bit. <laughs> okay. Different chamber, different things to smush. Same idiots, though. Crush them. Yes, I, I get it. That That's kind of what I've been doing. Okay, now you're going to time me. Well, I guess we're just delivering the pain train, aren't we? They do not feel pain. Keep going. Okay, well, whatever. Not like I just said that. Uh, Is that another door behind a door? Keep looking. It's waiting for you. What's waiting for me? Ah, oh, crap. Come on. Uh, that took longer than expected. Did it? I need you to work faster. Return to the elevator. The next floors are contaminated. Dude, I said you weren't looking good before, but now you're looking extra not good. A little... Pimply, little bleedy, little tumory. Please return to the elevator. Oh, okay, okay. Just, just keep it together, guy. I'm, I'm tripping over body parts here. There we go. Good. Yeah. You just avoid popping on me, you strange news reporter zit man. I really hope this is going somewhere. This floor's geometry has become uncooperative. The geometry on the last floor is cooperative? Work quickly. Okay. So we don't want to... Sm oh, no. We're just going to start the timer right away. I was going to say, we don't want to smash anything. Otherwise, we'll start the timer. Um, We got problems. It seems like somebody pranked you. Everything is stuck to the ceiling. Or maybe I'm stuck to the ceiling? Who knows? Uh, yeah, you? Keep going. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Okay, calm down. Uh, you? Great fridge? Oh my god, this is so weird. I never noticed the fridge screams out in pain, too. Uh, one more, one more. And it was... Crap, I can never remember. Um, hello? No, I don't know. I, I could have swore I went to everything. Didn't I? Maybe there's something in the bathroom? Are they changing things on me? I can't remember. Right, it was you. It's really easy to get twist turned upside down. You can imagine why. Oh. Is that not fast enough? Someone's having a rough Monday. <laughs> Just go. Okay, I would be happy to. Are we good? Oh. Oh, we're not good. We are not good. Are you still with us? Hello? Oh, this one is real weird. We need to do both at the same time. Okay, I'm going to start with the right. Because I remember the left a whole lot better. So we're just going to have to run around and hit anything that looks out of place. Because this one is a little bit... More troubling. Okay, well, I don't think the toilet would be getting anything out of the fridge. That definitely stands out. 
<laughs> uh, right, right, we got a desk out of place, and then, then we got the fake door behind the real door, and nothing in there, nothing in here, no, we're good, bathroom, we got you, and that's five, okay, so we're moving over to the left now, we got the bathroom right in front of us, occupied, oh, no, 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 I don't think so, so they're changing things up. That was different. We didn't have a toilet taking a poop before. I would definitely remember that. Two more. So it'd be this chair in the refrigerator, right? Okay, good. And the fridge, and then that's it. Are you proud of me, dripping man? Uh... What the hell? I noticed this was changing. They keep adding more signs every time we do a new room. It's a lot of no smoking signs. Dude was smoking as well. He had an ashtray next to him, but I didn't think anything of it. Oh, <laughs> I always hated my mother. I lived in terror of becoming like her. Oh crap, I'm being timed. Wait, what? What horrible comedy that in the end, I even die like her. Twisted by hate and desire. I was cruel to you before. Your task was always impossible. My hope was never fair. I offer this as an explanation of my hate. I offer no excuse. Do not worry yourself with the timer. Good, I wasn't going to. It is not for you. I am being unborn, and once again, I am amused by the simple beauty of colors. Such abstract and fleeting things. I will unknow them. It was good to live. It was good. I was gonna ask him to talk a little faster, but he's got bigger problems. If only I had more time. What? Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'd like out now. <laughs> yeah, I'd definitely like out of this crazy nightmare. Knock, knock, I'm coming for you. This is Jabu Jabu's belly all over again. Hello? Like out of this twisted nightmare, thank you. There's gotta be a door here somewhere. Perfect. Uh, what? Oh, I'm in a doctor's office now. That's weird. Okay, the time is the same. And after nine. Whatever this is, it needs to be quick. Mr. Spitz, please sit down. We need to discuss your test results. There's been an accident, a massacre downtown. It's, that will have to wait. No, this will wait. There are people dying. You are dying. It's what we had feared. The cancer has spread. It's now, what's happening in that office downtown can't wait. It, it's what I'll be remembered for. I have to go, we'll treat this cancer, it can wait. If it was just in your pancreas alone, it would be inoperable. But it spread to your liver, your lungs, even your bones. By our estimates, you have four to six months. You need to start putting your affairs in order. I don't have time for this. People need me. This is the story of my career, my life. I can't ignore it. You can't walk out of this office and have this all just go away. No one will care about my death if I don't prove to them that I lived. I've straight up got goosebumps right now. That is so cool. Oh my god, this was such a good game. All of the monster furniture wasn't real. It was cancer, right? Our cancer, because we were the news reporter guy. We had to get down to the station and report on all of these things happening, even though we were currently fighting it. And every time we would beat the clock, there would be more of them, or the clock would reset. That's why we could see an ashtray of cigarettes next to us build up over time, or more and more no smoking signs everywhere, or, or like even the plants looked oddly like airways. Like, it's just such a clever game. I'm Really impressed.
Three random games. Well, our next game is probably gonna be a complete wet fart in comparison, but it's called Hyperlife, where you get to make every decision over the course of someone's life. And you better believe we're gonna make all the wrong ones, starting with the name. When I look at that little chubby Unity asset baby, I think of the name Crystal Methany. Okay, I don't actually know if we're playing as a girl or not, but at the same time, anyone who names their kid that probably can't tell. You are very thirsty. Do you drink milk, drink Coke, or drink coffee? Do you mean Coke is in Coca-Cola? Or, or like, do you know what my name is? I, I think we're gonna go with coffee. Let's drink coffee. That gets us one heart and one money. Makes sense, you know, we're being more productive and we've got palpitations. <laughs> What's next? What do you eat most? Milk, mashed carrots, or meat? The human meat? I guess we could go with red again. <laughs> I'm raising a small cannibal. Oh, I'm not doing too well. I've got a lot of money, but I'm not healthy. Dad's phone, ask the passcode. Oh crap, wait, what? Throw the phone to the ground? Apparently I'm a bad baby and time goes by. So your decisions early on kind of dictate which paths you can take later in life? I don't understand how hard it is to be a baby. You know, you, you don't have any responsibilities. You can poop anywhere. I mean, technically I can poop anywhere too, but the dentist always gets mad. <laughs> Who do you love most? Mom, dad, or yourself? Oh, clearly myself. <laughs> Wait, can I change lanes and get multiple things? Oh, I'm gonna be a bit of a wishy-washy baby. It seems like the red option is always the fun one. I don't know if that's gonna hold up. You put the square into the circle. Yeah, well, let's go with circle. We're gonna be a bit of a dumb baby. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> mom is trying to feed you. Eat, spit, or throw it at her. Oh yeah, suck it, mom. I'm the favorite around here. <gasps> What's with all the negative hearts? Do you like hyperlife? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. It's recess. Do we want to go to the playground, stay in class, or go to the library? I think we're gonna go to the playground, but I wanna try to get as many of these things as we can, so hopefully I can continue to make decisions later in life. I'm apparently becoming a bit of a genius. You're at a birthday party, kiss the birthday girl. Oh yeah, throw cake at the birthday girl or get nervous and leave. No, we're gonna give her a smooch. We've got a little girlfriend. It's your birthday. You wish for a pony superpowers or a game console, obviously. We're not gonna get superpowers unless our parents are a radioactive spider. Not entirely impossible with the name Crystal Methany, but... <laughs> there you go! We've managed to at least get something good in our life. Oh no, your best friend is playing with another boy. Break up with her, be cool about it, or cry for your mom. I mean, she's kind of frumpy looking, but at the same time, you never know if she's gonna grow up to be hot. I'm gonna try to be cool about it. I know I said I was gonna make all of the wrong decisions, which would mean cry for your mom, but I kinda wanna keep a relationship moving on in life. Oh crap, pick a hobby for summer. I'm gonna be a backgammon expert. Okay, backgammon players don't get laid. I wanna play guitar, what happened? I thought I was smart. You've heard that today it's birthday of the girl you like. We're gonna ask her out. We're gonna automatically ask her out. This is perfect. I'm making him a little playboy. Yeah! She didn't grow up to be half bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, her hair is definitely a little weird, but at the same time, I'm not gonna judge when I look like a bleach blonde artichoke. There's a marathon next month, but apparently I'm too lazy to run, so we're just gonna run down the road of life anyway, because why not? <laughs> Come on, give me an option. There we go. You're at a party with your girlfriend. To be fun around her friends, get bored and leave her, chug all, chug all the drink. No, 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 actually, I, I wanna be fun. I, I'm supposed to make all the wrong decisions, but I want to keep her. Which department will you choose? Police Academy, I will not choose any or I will steal money instead. Okay, yeah, you know what? We could try to be a bit of a thief. That might not be too bad. What's the worst that could happen? We go to jail? No, I don't like your game, okay? Maybe if I can get with my girl, I'll think about it. You're kicked out from high school. 
And here I was thinking Crystal Methany was in his mid-twenties. Uh, technically, he could be. He just keeps failing over and over and over again, and they finally wanted to get rid of him. Or I guess it could have been the thieving. Do we whatever, apologize to principal, or attend an online school? Oh, I kind of want to stay in school, you know, get a good job, but at the same time, I could also be a hobo. <laughs> So let's just whatever, screw it, we'll live free. Which department will you choose? Political science, army, or sports? Okay, maybe we're gonna end up being a bit of a gym teacher who doesn't like running. You're at a party with your girlfriend, be fun around her, get bored and leave, or chug all the drinks. You know what, we're gonna chug all the drinks for once. It's time we loosen up. Life is, hi, she's gone. Son of a... I got an uneasy feeling I just can't shake. Do we close all of our social media accounts, buy new clothes, or change our hairstyle? I could go with some new clothes now that I think about it. His hair is looking a little bit better, you know, less artichokey, but clothes remain the same. Screw it, your landlord wants you to leave the apartment. Pretend you're not home, pretend you're his son, <laughs> or move back in with your wife. No, I wanna pretend I'm his son, wait, what? <laughs> What do you mean, Dad? You and your crush are alone in the elevator. Okay, let's smirk and raise an eyebrow this time. I just want to get some nookie in the elevator. Okay, I grew old with the woman who I just met in the elevator. Decent. Would you donate money for children's education? I'm poor as crap. You're out of luck, sorry. I don't even have a children's education of my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. Congrats, you've made it this far without a penny. I don't know how I manage it. Life is a mystery, or I need a dollar, dollar is all I need. I, I think I am going crazy, I'm just mumbling stuff. You're thinking about adopting a child. Oh, no, uh, I, I don't have much energy. No, not interested in kids, thanks. Would like to die alone. Still not really enjoying your game. And I don't think there's gonna be much more of it. Three random games. Once upon a time. Oh crap! I'm sorry, what? I didn't even get the, the chance to say anything. Okay, uh, finally, we have a game called No Humanity, which touts itself as being the hardest game ever made. It straight up challenges people to last 15 seconds. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. I was 14 milliseconds away. <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna challenge myself. If I can last 15 seconds, I'm gonna end the video. I can do this. This isn't that difficult, right? It, it, it's just advertising shenanigans. Like, I grew up in a generation where this was entertainment. <gasps> Bullet hells are perfectly normal and totally acceptable forms of entertainment, and I am not gonna lose my mind. I'm starting to think this might not actually be the hardest game ever made. It might just be complete and utter shenanigans. Like, for all I know, it's very well programmed to make it so that you can't actually win. Oh, I, I swear to God, if they made it so that I got close to 15 seconds the first time to hook me, and then they're just gonna keep pounding my ass over and over again. <laughs> This should not be fun. This has absolutely no reason to be fun. Why is my mouse cursor not actually controlling? Hi, what are you? Can you please go away? No, I don't like the things that you're doing. Please stop. Oh, oh, are we close? I feel like we're close. Oh, yes, yes, 15 seconds. I would like to dedicate this victory to all of the women out there who haven't been able to find themselves a man who can last 15 seconds. Oh yeah, you better recognize game. Give me those hundred coins. <laughs> you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. I'm really happy that I got to make another video on this so soon. You no, know, usually I have to wait weeks because I just can't find three games that I wanna play, but this one just kind of fell together. And you guys have been doing a great job recommending games to me in the comments. So as always, be sure to keep that up, leave a like on the video, and then hopefully I'll be able to return for another one again soon. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.